Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of a tutorial in Gary's Mod. Today I'll be showing you how to make a button that activates something. So, let's have someone, I don't know, let's say G-Man. Let's say you trust Gary's, I mean G-Man. And he'll be sitting on the wall. And he'll have his arm out like that. His hand like this. And uh, this will be another tutorial for something else. Uh, if you want to pose a finger, you can click the finger poser. Click on the hand that you want. I mean, right click on it. You can go here and then have preset one. So let's just choose the point. So he'll be pointing at this. Let's say that he's super happy about it. So we need to... <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> let's make sure his torso's there so we can modify his head. <laughs> so there we go. And let's just lock it in place like that. Move his arms. There. So, take out the fizz gun again. We'll, we'll already head it out. Now choose the button from construction. Click the button. And how about you... I don't know. Let's erase this. But anyway, let's just choose this button. The do not press button. And let's click it. Let's put it on the wall right there. You can map this to emulate a certain key. For example, if you if you want it to activate a thruster, you can choose seven. So when you hit the button, it'll act like you're hitting the button, like you're hitting seven, and then it will do this. So let's say let's have it right there, and then let's go back up the buttons and let's choose seven. Oops, seven. And let's press it. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's do push, pull, toggle on. Choose to emulate. Mm hmm. Whatever. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so now let's just put it on one. Let's say you want to make a trap. So let's just put some dynamite in the wall, just like this. So you're just walking around, walking around. You're walking up here, and you're like. Oh hey, what's up, G-Man? What, what? What is this? Okay. Boom! <laughs> it's pretty simple. Just something that I wanted to show you guys in case you were wondering on what this whole button thing did. And I know how that button works. So you can have a creepy face like this that's all bloody and pointing at the do not press. And you can set it for anything. A light. Um, you can have it to mapped to something dangerous like I don't know like a car type thing right there and then all of a sudden you hit this and it's like and the car comes and hits you or something like that or you can hook it up to a missile so the missile hits you anything like that so thanks for watching this episode of how to make um, stuff in Garry's mod another tutorial um, thanks for watching bye